What's going on agents out there? I have a quick story for you that's going to help you in the future um, because if it hasn't happened to you already, it's going to happen to you. And that's getting stood up by a buyer. Uh, by the way, don't mind the mess. Uh, where is it? You could see my son's giraffe is in here. I'm redoing my office, so it's, it's a little messy. So when you're working with a buyer for your first time, you need to confirm your appointments. Now you should always confirm every single appointment, just to remind your buyers that maybe you've been working with for a while that, hey, don't forget we have an appointment tomorrow at 6 p.m. But with new buyers in particular, you really don't know their motivations, you really don't know them personally, and you don't wanna waste your time, you don't wanna waste the listing agent's time or the seller's time, because uh, it's happened <laughs> where people will say, yeah, sure, I really, really wanna see this house, uh, let's go, it's gonna be great, and um, they, don't, they don't show up. What you need to do is get them to confirm the appointment, the day before with you that they're gonna show up and then also confirm about an hour before the appointment. Send them a text. You must get those confirmations in. And I'll give you a quick story that I worked with these clients. I met them and uh, they seemed sweet enough. I showed them a house, they didn't like it. So uh, the next day they were like, listen, we really wanna see this other house and um, you know, will you take us? And I, sure, no problem. It, but it was about 45 minutes away from me. Well. That morning, I text them just to confirm, and this is what you should do. Uh, I, I text them in the morning, no answer. Okay, not that, I'm not that nervous about that. Um, but then a couple hours pass and I wait for an hour before the appointment so I could, because I have to leave soon, it's a 45 minute drive, still no response. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be in the car for a while. They're gonna, they're, they're bound to get back to me. And they didn't, not a text, not a call. I get to the house, no show. No, I left them voicemails, text messages. I never got a response. And it was disappointing. It was aggravating. I just wasted, I'm gonna waste two hours of my time, 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back. And I never heard from them again. And these are people I've met. So it was really a bizarre situation, but it could happen to you. And, it, and I know it's gonna happen again. So. Here's my advice on how to fix that. Confirm, confirm, confirm. <laughs> Make sure they do respond. And if it's getting close, like if it's an hour and a half, two hours before your appointment and you still have not heard from them, text them again and say, I have to confirm that you're going to be at this appointment or I'm going to have to cancel because the sellers made arrangements that uh, I don't want to dis, you know, mess up for them. You could say something like that. And that, that's all you have to do. Now, if they don't get back to you, I'm telling you cancel it, just cancel the appointment. Because now you're gonna deal with, uh, with buyers that uh, are obviously not serious. They're not taking you and your time um, into account. Uh, they're wasting seller's time. So just move on. You know, you could find there's plenty of wonderful people out there that are looking for homes that you'd be more than happy to help and they're not going to do things like that. If your goal is to help people, that's a wonderful and terrific goal to be in the real estate industry. You're gonna go really far thinking like that, but you have to keep in mind there are people that are not going to appreciate your time and not going to appreciate you. So there's no reason to give them that same um, you know, the same respect back. So listen, uh, if you like this video, um, I'm going to keep sharing more and more videos, more of my stories, whether they're bad or good. I look like a dope, I, it doesn't matter. I just really wanna help you out. Um, that's my goal for this whole uh, channel. And um, please comment if you have a question or you want me to um, uh, talk about a, a different topic uh, in the future. I'd love to hear it. So anyway, thanks a lot and uh, take care.